Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. And today we've got a game between Penguin and Psyche on Whirlwind, the latter edition. In the bottom right-hand corner of the map, we have the orange Terran player. His name is Psyche. He's from Psionic Aftermath. And in the bottom left-hand corner of the map, it is the pink Zerg player Penguin from Psy Storm Gaming. So two very elite GM level NA players for you today. This was part of a best of nine show match between these two players. One of these players sent me this replay and said it is a very, very excellent ZBT. So I figured I would cast it. This is on the latest patch of StarCraft 2, despite the fact that it's on Whirlwind. It's just basically a custom game between these two players. You can pick any map that you want as long as both players agree. Hatch first out of Penguin here. Barracks first out of Psyche. Nothing too crazy yet, but I anticipate very much craziness. A lot of craziness. All right, so let's see. Today is Thursday. Yesterday was my cheese compilation. Hope you enjoyed it all. I haven't cast it yet. I will cast it tomorrow. Hmm. Scheduled YouTubing is kind of weird. It's kind of like time travel. Extractor pool going down for Penguin. No three hatch before pool here. That is for sure. Let's see if we're going to see a Reaper here. He didn't scout, and this is a huge four-player map. So I'm going to anticipate Marine. Ready? Ready, set. Falcon's powers of understanding. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a Reaper. All right, this Reaper's name is going to be Earth. The hot dogs he made were delicious, too delicious. They were so good, the Zerg caught a whiff of that scent and couldn't help but swarm towards Earth. In desperation, even civilians had to fight, and Nathan himself was outfitted with a Reaper suit, but he didn't mind fighting. After all, if the Zerg conquered Earth, there would be no one left to enjoy hot dogs. Fair enough. Actually, hold on. Did I cut that off? This might be Nathan. This might be Nathan the hot dog guy. All right, so this is Nathan the hot dog guy. He's a Reaper. He's orange. We don't see orange a lot in StarCraft 2, do we? And with the war chest skin, this is looking pretty nice. I kind of like it. Is he actually scouting the correct direction initially? By golly, he is. What indication did he have the Zerg player was over here? Did he see this overlord? I don't think he did. That overlord is on the high ground. It is not seeable. Whatever. He got lucky. He got lucky on this humongous four-player map. Going to try to kill some stuff. But unfortunately for him, there are already some Zerglings here. And can he get charged? Dodged. Excellent micro on display. Can he get a drone kill? No. Last second changes into a spore crawler. Oh, dodged that one. Fantastically. I thought for sure. I thought for sure he's going to get surrounded and killed there. But no. Queen's out. And now the Reaper has to go somewhere else. Checking to see is there a quick third base. There is not. From Penguin. He can't really safely go for it. Here we go. Now he's kind of safely going for it here. With a bunch of slowlings escorting. They almost have speed. Doesn't really matter. Nathan is not interested in doing much to try to shut that thing down. So third base goes down for Penguin in about three minutes, as is tradition. And it's going to be Hellion opening. I do have a starport here, too, out of Psyche. And his natural base is very happily mining here. I don't see any signs of aggression out of Penguin yet. He's just happily droning up. It's 24 to 25 harvesters. He's making five at a time, so he should jump ahead quite quickly. Quite quickly, indeed. You know what happened today? Well, I'm casting this on a Sunday, but it snowed. It snowed a lot today, you guys. It was warm in the morning, and if it's warm in December, you're like, okay, that means we've got a lot of cloud cover. That means something is blowing in from the place of the snow. I don't know what it is. I'm not a meteorologist. I don't know why this is the case, but absolutely, uh, I knew it was going to snow, and it did, and it did snow. Luckily, I got my Christmas lights up a couple days ago when it was like one of the few nice days, I think, left in 2017. I usually cut it close. I really should just do that thing like a week before Thanksgiving and not turn them on until after Thanksgiving, but... Didn't listen, didn't listen to myself, and as a result, Speedy Overlord comes in and do some scouting. Sees the Hellions coming. Oh, very nice. The little three-wheeled Hellions coming. Saw it coming, regardless. And I got the lights up, and it worked out in the end. It's kind of a hodgepodge right now. I, uh... <laughs> Uh, they used to be just straight white. I just had straight clear bulbs. It was just kind of a minimalist minimalist thing. Just get some lights up. And then they started burning out. And I couldn't find a replacement string anywhere. All they had were colored ones. So it's kind of this like clear and colored combination. Anyway, a lot of drones getting roasted up here inside the main base. Oh my goodness gracious. No. Drones aren't splitting very well at all. They're doing ring around the rosy here. That is 14 dead drones. With the drop. Also, we've got Hellions at the third base trying to do stuff with our friend Nathan. Natural base is in trouble as well. Or the the Lings and the Queens are coming and trying to save this thing. Yeah, they're going to be able to save this. You guys can't pick up and retreat inside a medevac, so you're all dead. Well, that's 14 
14 drones killed and still saved two of the Hellions here. Did our medevac. Super low on HP though. She probably doesn't want to go back in anytime soon here. But it's 30 to 36 harvesters. Penguin's trying to replace the ones that he lost, but he has to replace the ones that he lost. He wants to be more ahead than this. Now he's going for a spire. So he figures if drop play is going to be the thing from Psyche, he might as well go for the spire. Corruptors, mutalisks, things like that are going to be a good answer. More factories coming in from Psyche. Is he mechan? Is he making this happen? I feel like he's making it happen. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. Medivac tried to go into the natural base, but by golly, there were a million Zerglings there. And a, a queen, so no. That didn't go very well at all. At all for Psyche. Is going for a third base at all? No, but he's hiding his armory up here. I'm wondering, did that get scouted by that speedy overlord? It, uh, it did. It did get scouted by the speedy overlord, so it's bad news for Psyche. Knows it's mech coming, so he's going for... For a spire, if there are any Thors at all, which I can't imagine there will not be any Thors. I don't know that Mutas are going to be the answer here, but let's see. Let's see what we get here from Psyche. He's got Cyclones getting double pumped. He's got a lot of Hellions. You can turn those into Hellbats as necessary. I think a Hellbat timing would actually be pretty nice right now against Penguin. He's just got Lings and Queens, man. Lings and Queens against Hellbats are not good. Not a good answer to that whatsoever. But, um... I don't know. He's kind of hanging out. Psyche is not feeling like he can go out at all right now, and I just don't know why that is. Got seven mutas in production, so the mutas would shut this down pretty handily if they went without any anti-air. There's a couple cyclones, but they're not great against mutas either. There's your Thor. So I think he's waiting for a Thor just to provide some kind of rudimentary splash damage anti-air, which is exactly what he's going for. Overlord, look at this Viking. This Viking skin is amazingly cool. Wow. Although I think that... Mm, Altho, I have a list apparently. Also, the orange is just, it adds a lot to this, man. It really does. Got to kill this one if you're going to die for this. And it does. <laughs> Thought about landing. But no. Mutalisks. Pink mutalisks flying on in. There's a missile turret. And maybe pick off a couple SCVs here. Building these supply depots. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty nice. Lock on ability. That burst damage is nice, but it's only single target damage. Anything that does single target damage versus mutas is not going to be very good. Uh, unless you're at Marines, I guess. But that's because you're clumped in together in such a big, big group that it's basically a splash damage that you're raining here. This third base by Psyche is in a lot of trouble. Mutalisk is trying to take it down. Not really going to happen here. Cyclones, like I said, not wonderful against these mutas. I guess one got killed there, but whatever. We do have our Thor in splash damage mode, which is exactly what you want here. These things are in a bit of a semicircle. It looks like a C around these rocks that they killed. And a fourth base coming up for Penguin now at 7 minutes and 52 seconds. Got a Hydralisk then, got more Mutas, got a Baneling Nest on the way for Psyche. Meanwhile, it's going to be Cyclones, it's going to be Thors, going to be a lot of Missile Turrets, because he knows the Muta count is not going to stop at 5 here for Penguin. Penguin has been known for his Muta harassment for quite a while now. And preparing for it is a very intelligent thing to do here from Psyche. 62 to 48 total harvesters. Penguin has recovered from the damage done previously by that Hellion drop as Psyche hasn't really been able to follow it up with much of anything. Psyche is being so passive. I don't see this working at all for him. But again, Mech with a couple of pretty good engagements can really make it happen. Mech it happen. I know. I know. I know. That's the joke. That's the dad joke. Oh, flying right past those mutas. Those medevacs. Those medevac pilots said their prayers that morning. Wow, they were watched over by whatever deity they happen to believe in. Oh, the mutas turned around. <laughs> get them, get it. Oh, the boost. Oh, but the boost is here. Oh, there's hydralisks and there's lings. Drop everything. No, trying to roast stuff up. And no, that did not go well at all. Some lings died, but that's totally fair. Transfusing these hydras. You don't see transfuse using hydras very often. Because they only have 90 hit points and transfuses do a full 125. So you're overhealing no matter what. But, I don't know. If you've got queens not doing much else with that energy, it's going to be okay. Creep spread is amazing from Penguin. I think he's effectively... Yeah, he's connected all four of his bases. And he's pushing out towards the middle here. His Hydralisks have a very spiky war chest skin as well. And here come the Thors. Boom, boom, boom. Here come the Thors. They want to kill stuff. Here come the Thors with their cyclone friends. I'd watch that show. Watch a show about Thors just trying to murder things. That one mission in the Wings of Liberty campaign where you are on the giant Thor that murders all the things is really fun. It's a really fun mission. 
All right, so three bases are up for Psyche. Four bases heading for a fifth up north here as Penguin might as well. I mean, the Terran player is not really moving out. I jinxed it. I jinxed it. He is, in fact, moving out. All right, so he's got his Hellions. He's got his Thors. The Thors look actually pretty amazing, too. And again, I don't know if it's the Orange and the War Chest combined or one or the other. I think it's probably combined. I just love Orange. I like Orange and Yellow. It just makes colors pop on StarCraft units and WarCraft units. First time I saw the yellow and loved it was WarCraft 2 for the orcs, especially for the trolls and the troll berserkers. I don't know. There's something about the yellow accents just makes me happy. All right, here we go. We've got four Thors. These mutas are in trouble, man. Do not engage, and they're not. They're not engaging at all. Psych slowly pushing on in. Got blue flame done. Got plus one attack done for his mech units, working on plus two attack and armor. Well, plus one armor, not plus two. Scanning on in, he could have... Oh, he missed on that. Could have cleared some tumors. There we go. There's another scan. More tumors dying. Pushing through here towards this natural base. A lot of open space here, which generally does tend to favor the Zergs. Poor Hydralis just gets absolutely massacred. Counterattack! Counterattack of Lings and Hydras are here at the third base of Psyche, forcing a liftoff. This is bad news. This is bad news for the third base. I don't think it's going to be safe. Too many Hydralisks here with plus one missile attack and muscular augments. And they're going to take that thing down. Meanwhile, the natural base for Penguin all of them, all of them has no defense either. As it turns out, it's going to die. This third base likely going to die too. This is going to turn into a base race situation, which you never want to see a base race situation against a Terran player. Blue Flame Hellbats, man, against Queens. Yes, they can transfuse, but for how long the natural base is gone for Penguin. And the Hydras decide they can handle... What? The Hydras are going back. What are you doing, Hydras? Mutalisks murdering stuff here too. It's 155 to 168 total supply. Wow, the Queens are winning this battle. The Queens of the Transfuses are winning this battle. Single Thor is trying to kill third base all by himself, and the rest of his army shows up to assist with that and should be just fine. Hellbat has four kills. That's more than most Hellbats get, I think. Meanwhile, going for the base race. A lot of tanks defending here. The Hydralisks forced to retreat from this natural base location. The Mutalisks say, oh, you only have tanks here? Uh, I think I can handle that. It does pick them out of the sky. A couple of them getting killed here. We're push into the main. Push into the main. No, 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 no. Kill all the tech. Here we go. Turned around. There is absolutely nothing defending here for Penguin inside his main base. So he's got his Mutalisk clock trying to kill stuff. There are missile turrets pretty much everywhere causing problems for him. He's a <laughs> Penguin's expanding in all of this. He's going to lose his main. There's really no saving his main base right now. I mean, the Thors are kind of trying to kill these overlords and supply block him. Psych is horribly supply blocked. 139 out of 101 available supply. He's mining from his natural base, which is nice that he still has some neural patches there to get that income going. Kills a factory. Muta's picking off more and more supply depots, making it hard for Psyche to come on back here. Our overlords, they're, again, they're using the splash damage attack, which is not as good and trying to kill these units that are all spread out. But the main base is effectively dead for, for Penguin. He's losing his spire. He's losing his spawning pool. He's replacing his spawning pool somewhere way up north here at his fourth base location. And a lot of overlords are dying here. Going to try to supply block. Yeah, I mean, this is a lot of them are very wounded. And a couple more shots will kill them. <gasps> no, come back. <laughs> come back and kill these four overlords. You will supply block Penguin. It'll be worth it. I promise it'll be worth it. All right, fine. Not going to do it. Working on plus three vehicle weapons upgrade too. Good golly. And walking into tanks with a plus three attack is not going to be good for you. Well, plus two attack as it stands. Mutalisks are going to try to take these guys out. Try to ninja them to death. But there are three missile turrets in the general vicinity here. I don't know about this, you guys. Uh, this is a good idea. Or I mean, he's going to try to... Ugh. Is there repair available? Oh, got one of the tanks. Can he get the other one? The repair is going to be good. Oh, no, he does get the tank. Okay, so one of the tanks... Two of the tanks are down here. Missile turret getting shot as well. Dang, missile turrets are so good against mutas, though. Repair. Repair the missile turret. Repair the missile turret. Here comes the tank. Trying to get rid of this many hydras. It's too many hydralisks, though. Too many. The mutas are sacrificing themselves. Well, did. For the good of the hydras to come on in. Meanwhile, the fourth base is toast for Penguin. He just lost his, his spawning pool. He's got another one up north here, too. Okay, so he's fine. This is a crazy game. All right, so Penguin effectively base racing. He's doing nothing to stop these guys. Not at all. Zero things to stop them. Hydra's heading on down south. Nope, they're holding still. And again, now there are tanks in this army for Psyche. So Cyclone, Tank, Thor, burrowing the drones. Oh, throw a scan. 
throw a scan. You have a scan available. You have a scan available. But the Mutas just... Oh, the Hydra's rather taking out these Thors inside the main base. There's the scan. The Drone Massacre. Down to 19 drones versus 33 SCVs. But very, very sneaky base right here is not being scouted by Psyche. He's trying to throw up a new base at the third and hope that the Hydralisks don't notice that it's here. Where did the Hydras go? Hydras were in the main base wreaking havoc. And then suddenly they decided that they did not want to be there. After all, it's hard to keep track of all this insanity. Penguin has a base in the south he's working on. He's got drones. Where do these drones come from? Were they burrowed? They may have been burrowed. It's very possible indeed. Oh, he's also got a big group of infestors. What are these guys doing? <gasps> and they have Neural Parasite? Okay, how many? What is this? Where have these guys been the whole game? All right, there are ten of them. Ten infestors and how many tanks? Five tanks and three Thors. They Can they burrow cast Neural though? I know... Mm, bur burrow can cast while burrowed yes all right so we can do this i think you can actually just neural parasite most of this army oh here it is oh my gosh here it is one two oh everybody getting neuraled and everybody killing each other now some infestors are dying too but good golly the tanks versus the tanks the tanks versus the thors and that just basically halved Sykes entire army there he lost all of his swords he's got three tanks and a hellbat remaining <laughs> what a play oh the hiders feel like they can finish this off they're going for it picking off these tanks from distance picking off the hellbat too that plus one attack proves to be enough in this situation and I think I don't want to call it over but that was game altering for sure natural base by Sykes is running third base is gone main base is mined out he's got a little bit of gas remaining exactly 70 in that Vespian Geyser, Psyche continuing to make Hellbats, continuing to make tanks, continuing to believe that Mech is the way to do this thing. I mean, honestly, he can't just build a bunch of barracks right now, so he's just doing what he has available to him. Oh, the Infestors, can he see them? Mm, all right, the <laughs> Infestors are sneaking around. How many are left? There's only two. Eight Infestors died in that whole thing. Good micro by Psyche, actually, making that work, man. Killing those Infestors. Sure, he lost most of his army, but... All right, bit of a last stand here for Penguin. If he can hold this, I think he's going to be in a very, very good place. Tanks are setting up in siege mode in pretty good positions. Thor's leading the way here to in range to, yeah, to hit this base, to force an engagement. And here we go. Drones fighting as well. And all oh, the neurals from the backside getting the tanks. Oh, no, the tanks are attacking their own stuff. What an absolutely crushing victory by penguin there thanks to burrowed neural parasite 10 drones died it's 14 to 34 total harvesters but psych doesn't have much left psych has a tank two hellions um is that a marine that is a marine these skins are so crazy up here and a hellbat uh yeah it's 48 to 43 harvesters where psych is up or i'm sorry total army where psych is up but a lot of these are scvs which do not help do not help even the teeniest or the tiniest of bits in this particular situation. What the heck is that thing? Oh, trying to do a Hellbat or a Hellion Trump at this base up north. So we have base north for Penguin and base south for Penguin is what we're going to call them. They are that far apart. Trying to blue flame down. Yeah, I don't know the blue flaming down that queen's going to work for you, friend. There's the transfer into Hellbat so you can heal it up. Did that healing start before the transformation was complete? I believe it did. I believe it was such a crazy transformation. I like it quite a bit, actually. Getting a third base down is psych. Okay, I... I don't know. Penguin's playing pretty defensively here. Poor Hellback gets murdered again. Takes out a drone, which is good for him. But psych's up 34 to 23 harvesters. He needed this base. He really needed a third base that he could effectively and consistently mine from. Continuing to make Cyclones here. APM for these players is on currently over 300 for Penguin and over 2 for Psych. Resources lost right now is 22,000 for Penguin and 21 for Psych. So very close. 79 drones have been killed though. 79 to 32 SCVs. And no reason that, or no, no question that is why Psych is up. But Psych is not as up as you may otherwise expect. Oh, the tech switch. The tech switch. Penguin going back to Muta. Interestingly enough, and you know what? He, I think he, I think he called that right. There are no Thors being made right now for Psyche. He thinks he can do it with tanks and Hellbats, but uh, yes, he feels like the Hydras are the main threat. And yes, Hydras were the main threat back then. 
But as it turns out, mutas are out. And there are 11 of them, plus there's going to be 13 mutas. Good golly. There's another... <laughs> there's a spawning pool where the natural base of Penguin used to be. That's hilarious. Creep spread continuing for Penguin throughout this whole game. I mean, look at this. Look how much tentacled purple there is. He's also taking another base up north at the very, very tip-top. Tippy-top north base location. It's basically a third for your person who spawns in the top left-hand corner here. Potential third, anyway. I guess this is another one here. I can't believe this is still going on. A couple Marines do scout this south base. I guess it's the first time that Psyche found out about this thing. And also found out about the Mutas. So, I just don't know. There are some Vikings. Not really what you want in the situation. Are there even? There's three Cyclones. I think the Mutas might just be able to take this thing. Honestly, the base, the south, is in a lot of trouble right now. The mutas are here at the natural base of Psyche, getting rid of it, trying to get rid of this orbital command. It's one of the two that are remaining here, but the lair for Penguin's going to go down. Oh, boy. Tanks are waiting for anything to come and try to save it. He just sacks it. Doesn't even try. Penguin leaves it alone. There's the scan. All the drones are getting massacred here, too. The burrow's not helping very much. Psyche knows. Oh, there's a couple he leaves alone, though. No, 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 no. I guess the broodlings were a problem. Eh, regardless, Muta's trying to do stuff inside the main. A single Thor has popped out for Psyche. Okay, single Thor. <laughs> Muta's trying to fly in. There are two missile turrets here. Eh, not really going to be a good thing. Viking trying to get rid of these dudes. Cyclones, go. Use your lock-on abilities. Pulling back to where the missile turrets are, I guess, is a smarter idea. And then firing back. Okay, good. All right, good. A lot of lings and a lot of hydras. Running on down to this base that Psyche has. It's his final mining, mining base. There's a Thor coming in to generate as well. Technically, Penguin has two bases, but it's 32 to 18 total harvesters. Oh, Psyche rebuilding another command center. It is natural, but no, this Thor gets picked off by Lings. Yeah, and the magic box. Oh, no. Oh, this is real bad. This is real bad. The Lings running on in. They're going to take down a Thor and a Hellion. They're sitting right in the production facilities, right in the production lines of Psyche right now, which is super duper bad. Tanks getting rid of Penguin's northern base. I don't think there were any uh, drones there, so they're not dead. Well, maybe they are now. Nope, they're not dead. Coming back home are the Mutalisks to make sure this does not happen. Goodbye, Medivac. Yeah, the Muta's intercepting very nicely. Some of the Lings up here trying to make something happen inside the main base, but they are getting massacred by Psyche's army. This is crazy go nuts. I cannot believe this game. Oh, Burrow's a Lingen did get spotted, though. Psyche saw that and killed it. So suddenly, all we've got left here are 22 mutas and a couple infestors. For Penguin, uh, versus two tanks, three cyclones, a Viking, five Hellions, and a Thor. Is it enough? I feel like you can magic box that single Thor and be okay if you're Penguin. He has enough mutas to pull it off. By golly. Oh, more missile turrets being built here at this one mining base in the southern section of the map for Psyche. Can they finish? No! One! One does not finish. It is as close as you can terribly get to finishing. And boop! There it is. Other SCV came to finish the job. More missile turrets on the way. Recognizing the mutas are the big threat right now. Oh, Thor gets left alone. Thor, no! Oh, dead. It's one more volley off. Yeah, again, splash damage is great, but against this many mutalisks, you're just going to die too fast is the problem. Going after these factories. These factories have been keeping Psyche alive for quite a while now, and I think Penguin is tired of them. So he's going to try to kill these dudes while not getting hit by missile turrets. Factory, factory, factory down. Still one factory remaining. It is building... It is building a four lock on trying to kill stuff. <sighs> Retaking his super north base is Penguin. He wants that one. He wants it a lot. And he's droning up. So he's going to take a worker lead here. Once those guys pop on in. Lock on ability. And oh, the neural parasite on the Thor. These infestors have been MVPs to the extreme right now. Oh, everybody caught outside. Suddenly it's 88 to 38 total supply. I think Penguin has this thing. Would not be surprised to see that he does. But it's been very on edge for quite a while now. This Thor positioning itself between these two missile turrets, trying to keep his factory alive, making yet another Thor. We are 24 minutes into this thing, and I keep thinking one of these players is going to end it any moment now, but it's not happening. It is not happening at all. The problem is for Psyche, I don't know if he can expand. I really am unconvinced that he can expand at all. He needs the anti-air to deal with his Mutaflock, and he doesn't have it. 
These missile turrets are keeping them alive, but they're static. They are static missile turrets. And as a result, they cannot be used to escort an SCV to build a new base. I guess he's just building a great line of missile turrets. Look at him spending his money to both players. Under 500 of each of the resources. Whew. Vikings trying to fly over here to this northern base of penguins that's been here for quite a while. Base North has been really what's keeping Penguin in this game. And the increased mineral count per mineral field is a big thing too. I think you would have mined out here a while ago in pre-4.0 Legacy of the Void. Vikings here going to try to land and murder some stuff. Two Vikings with plus one armor versus a queen with plus one attack. And by golly, the Vikings are good. Wow, they do kill the queen. I just heard an assimilation successful. Oh, oh, there's another neuro neuroparasite on that Thor. And it is dead. And the Hiders finish off the Vikings. It's 94 to 32 total supply. These Infestors have been absolute MVPs for Penguin in this game. I'm going to give them the MVP award, even though it's not over yet. No, it is. It is over. Psych with a good game. Psych is defeated. And Penguin was victorious in 25 minutes and the 51 seconds. Wow. What a crazy ZVT. That was a lot of fun. Again, Infester is making it happen. I don't know when, but Penguin created like 10 Infestors, put them right about here, and then kind of forgot about them. And then he was like, oh, I have these Infestors. And they got rid of a big old army. They were helpful in getting rid of Thors that were the problem for this Muta type thing that Penguin had going on. And they were just, that was it. They were the MVPs. MVPs. Resources lost, going to be 28,000 for Penguin compared to a full 32. Is that 32? That's 32,800 for Psych. A lot of dead stuff here. Let's see what we've got. 22 tanks, 8 Cyclones, 7 Vikings, 13 Thors. There's a lot of dead Thors. 10 Infestors, 22 Mutas died, 41 Hydralisks, 100 Zerglings, 5 Hatcheries, A Lair, A Hive. Went down... <laughs> For Penguin, a lot of bases died uh, for Psych 2. Can't quite see all of the numbers, but there's a lot of stuff. All right, so that was fun, and that's going to be it from me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and the Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. We'll